This lesson will show why the factoring technique of bottoms up actually works. Let's first review the technique of bottoms up, which is helpful when factoring a trinomial when the leading coefficient is not equal to one. So to factor three x squared minus 10 x minus eight, we could use grouping or trial and error, but the technique of bottoms up is a nice alternative. To begin, we multiply the leading coefficient of three by the constant term of negative eight and change the expression to x squared minus 10 x minus three times eight, which simplifies to x squared minus 10 x minus 24. This trinomial is much easier to factor because the leading coefficient is now one. We will have two binomial factors where the first terms in the binomials are x, the factors of x squared. The second terms will be the factors of negative 24 that add to negative 10, which are positive two and negative 12, giving us a factor of x plus two and a factor of x minus 12. Now remember, these are not the factors of the original expression, they're the factors of x squared minus 10 x minus 24. And now we divide the constant terms in the binomial factors by the leading coefficient of three and simplify as much as possible. Looking at the second factor, 12 divided by three is equal to four, giving us a factor of x minus four. Looking at the first factor, notice two thirds does not simplify. This is where the technique gets its name. We move the denominator of three to the position of the coefficient of x and write the first factor as three x plus two. These two factors are the factors of the original expression with the leading coefficient of three. Let's go ahead and check this by multiplying. Multiplying the two binomials, we have three x squared minus 12 x plus two x minus eight, which when simplified does give us the original expression. But again, the question is, why does this actually work? So let's go back to the original expression. And this time let's factor out three from all three terms. This gives us three times the quantity x squared minus 10 thirds x minus eight thirds. Now we want to factor the trinomial inside the parentheses, which is much more challenging. We want to find two fractions when multiplied give us negative eight thirds, and when added give us negative 10 thirds. To help us answer this question, let's change the denominator of negative eight thirds to ninths by multiplying by three thirds. Simplifying, we now have three times the quantity x squared minus 10 thirds x minus 24 ninths. Now I want to pause here for a moment. Let's compare the trinomial inside the parentheses here to the one on the left of x squared minus 10 x minus 24. Notice these look similar. If we ignore the denominators of the trinomial in the parentheses, we can see x squared minus 10 x minus 24. It's just that we have denominators in this trinomial and we don't on the left. But the trinomial on the left will help us determine the fractions we need on the right. Remember the factors of negative 24 that added to negative 10 are positive two and negative 12. These will be the numerators of the fractions we're looking for on the right. And our denominators are going to be three because when multiplying two fractions with denominators of three, the denominator will be nine, and when adding, the denominator will be three. So let's go ahead and set this up to factor. And now the two fractions when multiplied that give us negative 24 ninths, and when added give us negative 10 thirds, are two thirds and negative 12 thirds. When multiplying, we do get 24 ninths, and when adding, we do get negative 10 thirds. So we have a factor of x plus two thirds, and a factor of x minus 12 thirds. Notice these two binomials, are the same binomials we had over here on the left when we divided the constant terms of the factors by three. This simplifies to a factor of x minus four, and once again, two thirds doesn't simplify, but notice now if we distribute three, we do get three x plus two as the first factor. So on the left, when we took this denominator of three and moved it up to the coefficient, that's equivalent to on the right, where we distributed back in the factor of three. And once again, we do have the two factors of the original expression. So I hope this does help explain why the factoring technique of bottoms up actually works. Thank you for watching.